There's something happening to Americans. I think the new American dream is to pack your stuff, leave the US and move to a little fishing town or a quiet village in Portugal. I've been coming to Portugal every few months for the last two years and let me tell you, I've never seen so many Americans who've decided to make Portugal their home. It's absolutely mind-blowing. It's like Portugal has become the new American dream. And it's not just my gut feeling, nearly 10,000 Americans are living permanently here in Portugal right now, according to data from the Portuguese government, which is a very impressive 240% rise in the last eight years. And that doesn't even include the Americans who live here on the digital nomad visa, which is super easy to get. The conversations that I've had with these American expats have been pretty much the same. People say that their number one concern is safety. It seems like it's a major issue in the US right now. Another reason they mention is that healthcare in the US has become a luxury, not the norm. If you're lucky, your employer pays it, but if you pay it from your pocket, you could be shelling $600 or more per month. While here in Portugal, you can have a premium healthcare plan, which includes dental treatments for just 2,000 euros a year, not to mention the expensive housing situation in the US. So the sentiment is that the old American dream just doesn't work anymore. But hey, who says life is about struggling with impossible circumstances just because we were born in a specific place? But why choose Portugal? The answer is fascinating and it goes back to the mid 2000s financial crisis. Portugal, like many other countries, was hit badly, but it took some massive action which really helped it bounce back. Like offering the golden visa to anyone who wanted to buy property in Portugal. With an investment of just 250,000 euro, you could get a resident permit for the whole family. And then there's the D7 visa, which is typically for people in retirement or anyone who has a regular passive income and D7 visa, you can live in Portugal and then after five years, you can apply for a permanent residency or a Portuguese citizenship. So what is happening is that people are earning money outside of Portugal and spending it here. And that has a very positive effect on the Portuguese economy, supporting local businesses and renovating beautiful old houses. So since 2012, foreigners have brought in more than $6 billion to Portugal just by buying property here. And then Portugal started promoting itself as a tax-friendly place for crypto investors. Plus the new digital nomad visa, which is very progressive and allows remote workers to live here for a year and then they can renew it. So it's no wonder that so many people are considering moving to Portugal. But let's be honest, although it's great that more foreigners are coming to Portugal, it's not all butterflies and roses. There's another side to it. The foreigners moving here and spending their money here changed the balance for the local people. It's made everything more expensive, especially real estate. The rents are going up, so local people can't afford it anymore and they move out of the city, which makes it difficult for local businesses to find workers. You can understand that some locals are not so happy with the newcomers. That's why the Portuguese government has made some changes to the Golden Visa program in the last year. It's no longer possible to get the Golden Visa if you're investing in Porto, Lisbon or the Algarve, which are the popular areas. The Golden Visa is still available in some areas inland where the population density is low. However, on the bright side, it's important to recognize that this trend of foreigners coming to live in Portugal does bring a lot of positive things to the local communities, like creating new jobs and opportunities for the locals. So why Portugal? Affordability. Dinner at a restaurant is 15 to 20 euro. A glass of wine is four euro. Healthcare is affordable and free college tuition for your kids in the EU. A two bedroom apartment is 1000 euro unless you want to live right on the beach or in the center of Lisbon. But it's not just about the money. Portugal is a safe place. It is ranked third safest country in the world in the last few years. People here take the time to enjoy the simple things in life, 
like sitting in a cafe every afternoon and eating cake. I think it's a very charming habit. The Portuguese are kind and patient people. They always take the time to genuinely be interested in your life. They always go the extra mile to make sure that you are okay. And this friendly approach is what makes Portugal so welcoming. Plus the food here is on another level, fresh, unprocessed ingredients, plenty of fish and seafood at a very affordable price. Portugal is also known for its fantastic climate, with 300 days of sunshine a year, especially in the south of Portugal. And the houses are painted in many different colors or they're covered with beautiful tiles. It makes the streets look very pretty and charming. It's easy to understand why people fall in love with Portugal and why they want to move here. From an investment perspective, Portugal has an average increase of 20% per year in real estate prices. And although past performance doesn't guarantee future results, I don't see the popularity of Portugal going down anytime soon. So are you thinking of joining this affordable trend and moving to Portugal like many other Americans? Let me know in the comments below and until next time, take care and I will see you very soon.